Hi, in this video tutorial, we're going to cover how to import data from one layer into another layer. Uh, it's essentially a copy and paste, but there's a few steps um, required to do it. This is generally a good process for if you're, if you have like a master layer with like a project uh, of a project database or um, something where you're collecting a bunch of information where you have like one editing layer or you're doing it in bits and pieces and you kind of want to like bring it all together but you already have like one existing um, database um, it's good to do this so that way there are tools that will merge things together but then you always create an extra uh, extra data layer or database or shapefile on top of that so in order to minimize the amount of like files you have to work with then it's good to kind of do it this way and then you can create selections of subsets of data to um, kind of bring things together. So I will do a couple examples here. So on the screen here, you can see that we have a project area, which we'll consider our master database. And then we have essentially like two uh, incoming shapefiles that uh, like have a subset of similar data. Um, you do have to be aware of the differences in fields and field values. Um, if you're bringing in something like, say, if uh, a consultant or something gives you a, a shape file, it probably doesn't have all the fields that's going to be in your uh, master layer. Any common fields, uh, um, the values for those fields or uh, features will be brought in, but anything that's not similar will, will be lost. Uh, so if you wanted to keep some, like if there is a layer just with like, a, or a field with just a different name or um, something like that, then you could change that field name or create a kind of a copy of it and create a new field and do a field calculation to bring those uh, future values over into that new field. So that way when you do do this operation, that those uh, attribute table values will kind of copy across, but uh, that's kind of a more advanced thing and a little bit more time consuming and project and layer specific. So we won't uh, go much into that beyond, beyond that. So, uh, so what we're going to do is create, go to a layer in our contents pane and we'll do a selection of that layer. Um, Normally I do a zoom to layer just to kind of see like the scope of the data that we're working with to see if I have to like manually do a selection or if I can just do a select all. Um, so there's kind of, those are the two ways to do it. So we can do a select all by doing selection and then select all, and then it'll select all the layers in that file. Or we can do a manual selection by selecting the feature, going up to the map and doing a select. Um, make sure that this is the only selectable layer just to make sure that if there are other layers in there that in the map that you're just selecting the one that you're interested in so then you can just draw a box around the layers you're interested in and select them that way too. Um, so once they're selected then you just hit copy to the map or you can do, use the map tab in the ribbon or in the edit and hit copy. And then we'll select our master layer and then go to the edit tab and hit modify. This will start an editing session and then you'll see over here the paste tool. Um, uh, it went from being inactive to active. Uh, so what we want to do is do a special paste, so a general paste just uh, it will bring in the kind of the layer itself, but we want to bring in the, the layer feature, so we can do a paste special. And then a new window will pop up here, allowing you to um, paste it into the layer that's like whatever target layer that you want, really. So it will allow you to um, select any layer that can be edited. So when you start an editing session, opens an editing session for any of the layers in the map that are editable. So we'll just make sure that it goes to the project area that uh, we want. And then uh, we want to keep the source attribute values. Um, so if those layer or those fields do line up, it'll keep those original values and then hit OK. And 
and then we can hit clear and we'll hide the layers that we imported. Now we can see that it's colored orange, which is our project area color. So then we'll hit save to commit that to the database. Um, usually before doing this, it's a good idea to back up the, the master database or make sure that the backup's recently been done. Um, sometimes it can run into problems and once you do hit this command, it's hard to go back. So uh, if something, if it's a complex data set or something like that, then you may need to go to a backed up version. So it's just a good practice to do that. So, uh, yeah, so now the, the pipeline area has been imported into our project area database. Now we can do a copy again with another one. So we'll do this one and we can do select all on that. And then we will do copy, go back to the project area, modify. You can see the paste come up here. This is kind of the challenge with ArcGIS Pro. This is a pretty simple operation in some other programs, but uh, for some reason, if we do selection, so if we do this selection, make this the only selectable layer. New selection. Select all. Copy. Go to the project area. Modify. And then. Yes, maybe you have to start a modify session. Before you copy, then you could copy, modify, paste special project area. And then see those ancillaries are now pasted in there. Uh, double check that they came in. And then hit save. So that's just kind of an example of it's kind of a finicky process for some reason or another. Uh, I've, that's why, why the video tutorial is not so straightforward, but uh, maybe we'll just run through it one more time uh, just to see if we can do it in a more streamlined way, uh, in a way that uh, doesn't lead to errors possibly. So uh, make the project area. Let's just get rid of the features we just added. So we'll make this the only selectable layer. And then we can delete these. Piece by piece. Start from scratch. Save that. We're back to our original project area. Uh, so this time, we will start a modify session before we can turn this layer on. We'll do selection, select all, and then copy. And then go to the project area. So maybe the key is selection, make this the only selectable layer, and copy. Modify, copy, project area, 
modify a special. Save it. Save it. Clear that selection. Then we'll go back to our ancillaries. Select ancillaries. We'll make it the only selectable layer. And then select all. Modify it. Copy it. Go to project area. Modify. Paste. Paste special. Project area, paste, and then save. Then that's committed. Clear it. Make sure that that's what they're supposed to be in. And there you have it. So that's how you copy and paste. And those are probably some of the issues that you will run into if you. For me, if I haven't done this process in a while, uh, I have to kind of go through it again and refigure out how to do it because there's a few kind of like hidden steps between the different layers. Um, so it makes it a little bit challenging. So uh, just remember that make the layer that you want to copy the only selectable layer. Uh, start a modify session. Select your layer. Select the the features that you want to copy over. Hit Copy, go to the master layer, start a modify session, and then you should be able to do a paste special. So uh, hopefully that kind of clarifies how to do a copy and paste between the two different layers. Um, and hopefully that video also highlights how to kind of pro troubleshoot some of the issues with kind of going through that process with ArcGIS Pro. Uh, a lot of these things aren't so straightforward. So hopefully you found that helpful. Uh, thanks for watching.